Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. One of the Fang stocks got smashed last night. Netflix down 10 to 15 percent in after hours. This uh, this should lead to some sort of like turnover in the stock market today. Um, U.S. equities and the S&P index are slightly lower, 297. We've been down as low as 20, 27.94 and a quarter. Uh, we are core short uh, equities today. We'll see how that plays out. It's pretty straightforward. Stop now above a weight. Um, but I think it's pretty important news. Fangs got punched in the face. We'll have to see how Facebook uh, reacts and the rest of the gang. But uh, Netflix got smoked after hours last night, and we deem that as important. Let's go to cable. We got employment numbers out today. Yesterday we got what we wanted, up to 92. But then that was the end of it. Uh, we did print a low after the high of just below that 20 mark where we talked about there were going to be intraday stops. Core long still seems to be the way uh, from where we stand, but now we have one of those binary moments, uh, and it depends where your average is. Uh, if you add it above the 70s, you probably got smoked yesterday, but if you had your core long average below 20, uh, you're, you're happy to sit with this, and now just leave your stop at break even for the number. If you look at Euro Sterling, it's a little bit more compelling. On a strong number, uh, we will um, we will get short through these lows here, 17 yesterday. Uh, and then we will sell through 11 and then sell through the figure. Stop right at the 200 day moving average, which is 17. Uh, we've had this sideways consolidation. I do believe this is important technically. Both sides are important. Uh, the top side, you have to wait till 89 the figure before it gets really important. Um, we'll see how close we are for the numbers, but through the 200 day, especially if it is jobs related, we will be getting short. Sterling Swiss, same same deal. It's a bit further now, the Sterling Swiss, but boy, that's that's an important level now. 162, 60, 132, 66, 67. Once we clear these highs, uh, the privateer gang, we're going to be getting along. Kiwi squeeze last night. We talked about this. The market short Kiwi inflation number came out mildly hot. Do not fade this. Uh, there's going to be more stops above this 6860 level. Um, should come into play in the next uh, session or two. So we are not fading this Kiwi. We don't. We're square Kiwi for now. Uh, we, we did not trade the numbers last night. But this looks like it has more to run. Market short, and you got a little bit of a boost in the inflation numbers. So, careful with the kiwi here. Everything else looks relatively quiet. Euro has been in like a 10-point range overnight. Dollar Swiss kind of sitting here waiting. We've got Powell testifying today in Congress. Obviously, these idiot politicians are going to be making this very political. Um, so the Democrats are going to try and urge Powell to say that uh, this trade nonsense is the worst thing in the world, and the Republicans are going to try and do the opposite. Um, so you got to sift through the politics on this Humphrey Hawkins testimony, as we like to call it, and try and figure out whether we're still on course for two rate rises this year, which I think we are. Uh, and so 
if that does happen, you might see dollar Swiss regain some of its losses yesterday. It's a pretty serious red bar. Euro may slip back lower again, right in the middle of the range here, so there's not much to do. Very hard to trade Humphrey Hawkins unless he says something outrageous, which I doubt he will. Uh, but we do have to keep our our eyes and ears open during that testimony. So it is a risk factor today that needs to be watched. Otherwise, it's a summer trading session in July, a Tuesday. Uh, not super excited for anything outlandish today. So we keep, uh, we keep the amount social and keep the discipline very high. We'll be watching the UK uh, employment numbers and the Humphrey Hawkins testimony. Still with a bias, <coughs> core short, sterling. All right, guys, catch you at the New York Open. Ciao.